What's going on folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. We are here with Arena of Valor and we're going to be discussing the upcoming features, balance changes and Arena of Valor news. So let's check it out. There is going to be a feature that you can utilize by being part of a guild. It's called Valor Cup in which you can team up with other members of your guild and participate in an in-game online tournament in which you guys will win rewards. And what's cool about that is that you'll also have the opportunity to earn a spot inside of an esports tournament for Arena Valor as well. So it's pretty exciting stuff. But along with that, there's other features and um, balance changes that are coming out with the update. All right, so we're going to check that out. Other cool things that are being added is there's going to be more free rewards. So there's going to be a roulette system that you'll be able to take part in every day during certain times of the day you'll be able to log on you'll spin this wheel and you'll have the chance to earn either free vouchers coins gems and i've even seen like a jackpot of coins of like 9999 vouchers are like 88 vouchers there's gems so that's all going to be for free so it's more rewards for playing um uh, what else are they going to be adding they're going to be optimizing some stuff for their iPhone 10 so that you can see the full screen when you play. So that should be exciting as well. But the biggest news that I wanted to discuss is that there's going to be some balance changes, right? There's a lot of buffs and a lot of nerfs. Uh, they haven't discussed specifically what's going to be reworked, but they're going to be changing a lot of characters as far as, um, you know, who's not being used anymore. There, there's going to be a lot of changes, so... I had to write it down because it was a lot of information as far as those characters. But as far as the buffs, Kali's getting a buff, Vera, Crixie, Ignis, Prada, Aliester, Astrid is also getting a buff, which I was very surprised about. Fennec, Kilgroff, Slims also surprised me. Wukong surprised me. Cricknack, Scud. Morin, Janar, Raz, Tara, Arthur, and Atalia. So all those characters are getting buffs. Now as far as nerfs, Lu Bu's getting nerfed, Timmy, Max, Tulin. So far, you know, I understand. L'Oreal, Violet, and Ryoma. So all those characters are getting a nerf. Um, as far as what specifically, not sure yet. All I know is that those are characters that are going to be changed. Now, uh, once I find out more information, then I'll be able to give you guys an update on the next stream. And then we could talk about that and everything. But uh, just hearing that so far, what do you think about these changes, right? I see some comments are saying uh, Ryoma didn't need a nerf. I agreed with that as well. Crush, uh, people feel needs a buff. Could be happening maybe in the next update, but this is so far what was announced. Now, uh, also, if you look at the screen, Superman is in the logo. The rumor is that he is releasing this month. So that will be another hero that you guys will want to try to get. Now, as you know, the DC heroes are a little more expensive. Um, they are working on changing that because um, I know with Joker, they changed the price from 23000 to about eighteen. So I don't know if that's going to happen with Superman, but that would be awesome because, as you see, I already got 22,000 coins. But uh, that, that's all the news that I uh, was able to gather from checking out the content newsletter in the video. So I'm pretty excited, folks. And again, Arena Valor is paying attention to all the feedback we're giving. They're checking out all the blog posts. They're looking at Reddit. They're looking at Twitter. They're looking at YouTube comments. So they're definitely paying attention to find out ways to engage the community and to make it a much better experience and better game. So, got to commend that, right? Hi, everyone. The hero we are introducing today is Superman. Superman can crash enemy team formation as a warrior or can quickly finish enemy targets when they are running low. Speed is power. If you are not a tanky hero, then whenever you see a Superman flying, stay away from him. Passive Flight Superman has two modes, flying and walking. 
He gains 2% movement speed and charges energy for every 100 units he walks, and takes flight once energy is fully charged. Flight mode grants 20% movement speed when moving towards an enemy, and his normal attacks deal additional damage equal to 12% of his own maximum HP. Superman exits flight mode when he is hit with a control effect that lowers his movement speed to 375 or less. Superman's passive is the key to deal high damage, so make sure he can be in flying mode as frequently as possible. To make sure he can take off quickly, a recommended item is Gilded Greaves. It can prevent Superman from being slowed down. First Ability – Kryptonian Strength Superman uses his Ice Breath to generate a blizzard that deals physical damage to enemies and slows their movement speed by 50% for one second. If in flight mode, Superman rams into enemies, dealing 12% of maximum HP physical damage, and then fires his heat vision, dealing an additional physical damage. Superman's main ability to deal damage, it is recommended to level up first. If Superman is in flying mode, the first ability can also knock back enemy targets. That being said, you can now get behind enemy's team and push them to your teammates or tower. Second ability, Man of Steel. Superman unleashes his full power, which immediately frees him from control effects and significantly increases his movement speed. If in flight mode, Superman will slam the ground and knock back enemies, dealing physical damage as well as rid himself of control effects and increase his movement speed. Although Superman's second ability can boost movement speed, but due to its long cooldown, it's not a good idea to use it at first. Try waiting for enemies' control abilities, then unleash Man of Steel to offset them. Ultimate Speeding Bullet Superman taps into his full potential, which increases his charge-up speed by 100% for 10 seconds. If in flight mode, Superman will ram into his enemies and knock them back, dealing physical damage, and have his charge-up speed increased by 100% for 10 seconds. While flying, Superman's ultimate is a crowd control ability. He can use it to push away enemies' targets when teammates are running low. When playing Superman, here are some of the tips to remember. 1. Superman can provide fast support. After cleaning the waves, Superman should always be looking for support opportunities in the first time. This will make it easy to outnumber opponents and win the battle. Two. Superman is a great threat to enemy squishy heroes, so attack from behind enemy's team is definitely a good choice. If successful, this can nuke down enemy's carry in seconds. 3. Purify and Execute is recommended for summoner skill. Purify can prevent Superman from being slowed down to make sure he can fly, while Execute can boost Superman's damage to nuke down enemy. Thanks for watching today's episode. See you again next time.